Okay, for the next um for this next video lecture, so our topic to be discussed is about cash budget. Okay, so a cash budget itemizes the projected sources of sources I mean and uses of cash in the future period. So meaning to say here, uh, we will create a budget which stipulates the sources of the cash and how we will use this cash in the future. So in this cash budget, uh, we, we will determine if there is enough cash that can be used in the next period or if there are any uh, deficiencies okay, in which case uh, we can or the entity can determine uh, the sources of the additional fund needed. Okay, so this budget is used to ascertain whether the company operations and other activities will provide sufficient amount of cash to meet the cash requirements. So basically, in an entity, in a business entity, the main source of their cash flow is from sales or cash sales okay so they might have other uh, activities that are not closely related with the nature of their business that can also provide cash such as sale of uh, non-current assets uh, short-term loans or other um, sales activities like a sale of investment and so on okay so they will provide or this uh, budget will uh, stipulate or project the sufficient amount or if the amount of cash generated or flowing to the entity is enough or sufficient to meet the cash requirements okay so if not as, as mentioned earlier, the management should find additional funding sources. So, if the cash is negative, okay, out of the cash inflows alone from their normal operations or other related activities, then they should look into uh, finding sources okay, of additional cash needed. So, they might... Um, enter into uh, loans or short-term liabilities and the like okay so that um, they will have enough cash to um, compensate for the cash requirements during the period okay so the results of the cash budget are used for financing budget as well so it itemizes the investments the liabilities in both the interest income and interest expense okay, so in this case if for example based on the cash budget there is sufficient or excess cash okay so this excess cash um, might as well be placed into investment that can earn interest income okay so the cash budget is comprised of two areas or main areas we have the sources so where is or where does our cash comes from so these are our cash inflows and the uses of cash so these are our cash outflows so what are the activities that um, creates or provides cash and what are the activities that uses or utilizes cash so the sources of cash sections will contain, of course, the beginning cash balance. Uh, beginning cash balance is um, the remaining cash, if there is any, from the previous period. And then we will add this beginning balance to the cash receipts. Okay, Meaning to say the cash inflow during the year, that may be from cash sales, um, collection from accounts receivable, and the sales of assets okay so these are the sources of cash we just add these two items 
the beginning cash balance, and the cash receipts during the period. Okay, for the uses of cash section, so this contain or this will contain the cash expenditures. So this may be in the form of purchase of direct materials to be used for production, uh, labor expense, manufacturing overhead expense, selling and administrative expenses. So all of these have their own budgets as well. So we can take the data from these budgets okay, to be used uh, under this section, so uses of cash. So the cash budget may also contain line items for fixed asset purchases and dividends um, paid to the shareholders if there are any. So these are also uh, forms of uses of cash. Okay, so this is an example of the cash budget. Okay, so this is what we have described a while ago. So we have here the section for cash balance beginning. So again, this is from the previous and remaining cash balance from the previous uh, period. So we will add the receipts. Okay. So we have the total cash available before current financing. This one should be here, actually. Total, you just add these two. And then we will deduct the disbursements or expenditures. Okay, so this will be, this one should be here. Okay. Um, this will now be either excess if it's positive, deficiency if it's negative. Meaning to say positive, there are more cash inflow than cash outflow. Negative if there is more cash outflow than cash inflow okay and then if there is any deficiency so we need financing we need to say these are the additional um, funds from other sources like loan okay so we just add there to have the cash balance ending okay so for some entities they require uh ending cash balance like for example, they should maintain at least 10,000 uh, ending cash balance every month. So you have to also uh, meet the requirements. If this is not met, then additional fund is needed. Okay, and so on. So that's for cash budget.